Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician at Raypack. This video will help you perform some basic steps to prepare your heater for startup in the springtime. During this process, if you come across any wires that are damaged, stop and call a service company. Rewiring and any other repair must be done by a qualified technician. Gas equipment can be dangerous if proper caution is not taken. You can find a qualified repair company by visiting our website at www.raypack.com and clicking on the Pool and Spa tab at the far left. Select Service from the drop-down menu. Type in your zip code and select the radius. Then click Update Results. The tools you will need are a drill gun with a Phillips bit and a 5 16 inch nut driver at the lowest torque setting, or Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 inch nut driver, or a socket with a small ratchet, a flat blade screwdriver, and industrial vacuum. Verify the following before starting. Power has been shut off to the unit. Gas has been shut off to the unit. System pump has been shut off. Inspect the area around the heater. If there are any tree branches, leaves, weeds, etc., clear them away. Debris around the heater can cause many problems, including a place for spiders or rodents to gather. It can also be a potential fire hazard, so it's very important to keep the area clear at all times. Be sure to store all pool chemicals and cleaning products away from the heater. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws from the louvered jacket top. You can now lift the jacket top up and remove it. Inspect the rain channel and top of the heat exchanger for any debris. With your industrial vacuum, remove any leaves or debris you find. Remove the screws holding the access panels located on the water connection side of the heater. Pull the access panels off and set them aside. Inspect the wires leading to the high limits, pressure switch, and temperature sensor. Make sure the wires are not melted, pinched, cut, or chewed. Reinstall the drain plug into the bottom of the inlet outlet header, finger tight only. Remove the screws holding the access panel located on the return side of the heater. Reinstall the drain plug into the return header, finger tight only. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the knurled thumb screw on the door assembly. Pull the door assembly off and set it aside. Make sure the wires are not melted, pinched, cut, or chewed. Visually check to make sure the wire connections are snug. Inspect the bottom of the heater cabinet for any debris. If it is dirty, use the industrial vacuum to clean it. Inspect the cabinet for any signs of water leak or overheating, including rust or burn marks. Double check to make sure power is disconnected to the unit before removing the transformer wiring box cover. Visually inspect the transformer wires. Reinstall the transformer wiring box cover. Remove the four Phillips screws on the upfront control panel. Pull the top and it will pivot towards you to expose the control box. Check for rodent nests in the control box. Clear away nests, debris, or spider webs. Inspect the PC board wiring and connections. Now that your visual inspection is complete, turn on the gas valve. Reinstall the jacket top and control box cover. Lastly, reinstall the front door assembly. Turn the power, gas, and system pump back on. Check fittings, drain plug, and around headers for leaks. If you find any of these symptoms, please contact your local service provider. To find your model and serial number, check the inside of the cabinet for the rating plate decal. Reinstall the access panels on the water connection side. Reinstall the access panel on the return side. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this heater, visit our website at www.raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for additional how-to videos.